I made some statements regarding the black community a couple of days ago, and I've just now kind of like seen the response to it. I haven't really been paying attention. Um, I am very glad to see that the vast majority of my audience are in agreement with me. Like George Floyd needed to be kneeled on. Like the Black Lives protests, Black Lives Matter protests were nonsensical. There were no point. And above all else, I, I think we really, really need to admit this to ourselves. We really need to come out and acknowledge that it's perfectly acceptable to criticize the black community as a whole. Because I feel like the people who should have been most critical of Black Lives Matter, what they stood for, like their behavior, their attitude, their response, the way they destroy the community, like is the black community as a whole. Because at the end of the day, what did they accomplish? They they destroyed a number of cities with a bunch of black people. How 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 amazing. Like you you really made a, the black community better with that. Like you destroyed a bunch of businesses that could have employed blacks. You you caused untold amount of damages that will require taxes that could have gone to black people. Like <laughs> like this is all you basically fuck yourselves over in a way like and I think I'm not real I think I'm not the only one saying this. I don't think I'm the only one like coming out and saying this. Uh it's becoming more and more common I think to really 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 come out and criticize blacks. Uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not afraid to do so openly. Like I am a I will talk shit about Black Lives Matter and like casual conversation and things like that. Uh it's not something I just do online. Like it is something I do. In my professional life, uh, just so you know. Uh, um, so, like, criticizing this movement, criticizing this community, criticizing these attitudes towards, like, uh, <laughs> towards the police, towards these demographics, like, um, it, it's becoming more and more mainstream. Like, just blindly believing, uh, you know, blacks when they say they're being oppressed by the police, it, it's becoming a thing of the past. Like, I think more and more people are starting to realize that these people are full of shit. Like, the reason the police come after them so often is because they commit so many crimes as, like, a demographic. Like, obviously, not all blacks are, like, going out committing crimes all the time, but a significant p percentage of them are. Like, what? They're... Like, the statistics, if you actually, like, look at them, like, actually look at the actual verified statistics, if you actually look into police work, like I have, like if you know what the streets are like, if you know what these people have to deal with, like you'll understand. Yeah, black people commit a disproportionately high amount of crime compared to the entire rest of the population. It's not racist to point this out and acknowledge that there is a problem with criminal behavior in the black community. In fact, this is the... This is how we're going to fix it, is by acknowledging, first of all, that you, the black community, are the problem. Like, it's not the police. They're not out to get you. They're not, like, putting you in prison for slave labor or, like, any of these weird conspiracy theories I've heard people come out with. They're not targeting you because of your skin color. They're going after you because of something you or your community have done. Like they're looking for suspects, right? Like they're looking for people who look like you. You know what I mean? Uh, like obviously, obviously it sucks if you get pulled over and questioned for something you didn't do. That That's happened to me several times actually. Like it's not that abnormal. Like the reason it happens to blacks more is because there are more black people committing crimes. Like statistical reality, right? Like you, you can't ignore statistics. Like some, like I, I know plenty of blacks like to downplay this, but but it is a real statistic. I have verified it. I have looked into it. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like uh, thirteen percent of the population commit fifty percent of the crimes. Like fifty, like blacks make up thirteen percent of the population, but commit half the crimes. Like this is this is a verified statistic. Uh, look it up. It's not a meme. It's not a joke. Like, look it up. So, um, yeah, what what can be done about this? Like, well, first of all, like, if you want real systemic change with the police force, well, theoretically, <laughs> the police force, like, um, work with them. You know what I mean? Like, acknowledge that the police exist for a reason to prevent crimes and 
Stop making it about you, essentially. Like, stop thinking that, like, they're out to get you specifically. Like, acknowledge that the police exist for a reason and that you have a relationship with them and try to improve that relationship. Like, don't think that, like, you can just get rid of the police because that's not going to fucking happen. Like, uh, newsflash, all that's going to happen when you defund the police, assuming that does happen, like, rich people will just hire private security for them firms and prevent you from going on to their property like that's that's basically what's gonna happen that's basically what this is amount going to amount to i think uh in the new america like the poor will just live in constant squalor and poverty while the rich just um continue living as they always have like i don't know like like uh, in a way i think uh black lives matter is basically fucking over itself because like you're making a lot of people extremely unsympathetic to your cause right you're making a lot of people really question <laughs> like why exactly you're making a lot of people question these kinds of things you, you know what i mean like a, a lot of people have come out in support of you um I, i'm just going to come out and say right now like they are completely ignorant like much like a lot of these other issues that have been plaguing society lately like they've been misled they've been lied to they, they don't know jack shit they don't know what they're talking about um like as more and more people become aware of like what black lives matter actually is how they actually behave how they actually conduct themselves what their goals would actually accomplish like more and more people will turn against it i don't think black lives matter will be as big of a deal next election cycle like when uh, we're better prepared to deal with them because uh, i don't think people are just going to forget them this time that that's kind of what's happened the past couple of election cycles is that like black lives matter just kind of appears and then disappears to rally the black community to to vote democrat and then disappears again uh never again like we we are going to actively remember this and start actively making fun of you like you people are pathetic and there is nothing wrong with saying so